Okay, I've got Mrs. Combs Prepper here, serving as my camera woman. She's going to help out today. Today I'm just going to demonstrate connecting via packet radio from here at my undisclosed location in the mountains to a packet node in Franklin, West Virginia, and I think it's about 35 miles away. So I'm going to hit C for connect, that's the command, and put FKLNWV and hit enter. And when I do that, the radio is going to key up and talk to that station. They'll respond and welcome us to the bulletin board system. Radio keyed up. We have a response from that node up there in Franklin, West Virginia. Welcome. Now I'm going to go ahead and type L to list all traffic on that bulletin board. That's like checking the mailboxes. So we'll hit enter. And there's the messages up on that node. There's quite a few on the bulletin board. Now Nothing there is addressed to me, so I won't read any of it. I can read what's listed as news or net. Another cool command is J, last heard, and that will tell that node to tell me everything it's heard, because one of the beautiful things about packet radio is you can relay. So if I'm looking for a station that I can't hear, I'm going to ask this node what it can hear and maybe relay through it. So I'll hit J and hit Enter. And now it's responding with all the radio stations that node has heard. And that's quite a bit. So West Virginia appears to have a very robust packet radio network to support emergency communications. I'm really looking forward to learning about the West Virginia network and packet radio. It's a big learning curve for me. I never really did packet before, but I think I'm going to like it. Very cool stuff. So I'll wrap this up by entering the B or by command and hit enter and that'll disconnect us from that station. Hello YouTube and Preppers, this is the Comms Prepper, and this video is an update or an addition to the video I posted last night on my new packet radio node here in the mountains of West Virginia. We got everything up and running last night, seemed to be working just fine, no problems whatsoever. But this morning when I came out to the shed, the modem had locked up, and when I turned it on and off, it dumped all the configuration programming. And I think what caused this problem is I turned off all the fans here in the shed. It's really hot out here on the mountain right now. And I had the fans off because I was making a video, much like right now I have all the fans off, but when I went to bed last night I didn't put the fans back on. So I think the modem overheated and that caused it to lock up. So I spent the better part of this morning reprogramming all the configuration into the modem. And I'm going to put a link down below to an excellent YouTube video on how to program Cantronics and TNC modems. I can't think of the name of the channel right now, but I'll put that link down below. It's a good hour long but it takes you through every setting in the modem and the guy did a far better job than I could ever do so I'm just going to reference his work it's definitely worth looking at it if you want to get in the packet radio the other challenge I've had with the new packet modem out here or the node is interference and I'm going to turn the volume up here so you can hear it and I spent a lot of time last night and this afternoon trying to track that down I actually had the signal hound SA44B spectrum analyzer out looking for this noise and I finally tracked it down and verified that by cutting certain circuit breakers off in the house that interference is coming from my Linksyst router for my internet up here and that's really annoying I'm not quite sure what's wrong with the router that's causing that interference so I'm just going to replace it a neighbor went off the mountain today went to Walmart and we picked up the cheapest router they had there Netgear so I'm going to pause here set this net gear up get it all programmed up that's going to be a whole another project because I'm going to have to put all the routing tables in for the off-grid solar power system and my camera system out here but we'll get that done set it up and see if it eliminates this obnoxious interference on my new packet radio node here on the mountains of West Virginia we'll be right back and hopefully it's going to be successful success we got the new router online programmed up internet's back up we got the port forwarding rules back in place for the security cameras and the off-grid solar power system, but most importantly, the interference is gone on the packet radio frequency here. So we're going to go ahead and leave this up. This is a new packet radio node in the mountains of West Virginia, and hopefully it will complement the Darren system well. I'll put a link down below to their system. Everything seems to have held with the programming. I'm going to turn the fans back on this time to keep the shed cool and keep the equipment cool. Right now I have the radio running on that power supply, but I have the modem itself running on off-grid solar. I have a little off-grid solar system out here, a 30-watt panel with two batteries. 
And while working on this project, I also addressed up the outlet box here and put a proper switch in. So I got to go to Home Depot and get a switch plate for that. So I'm going to call this weekend's packet radio project a success. And hopefully uh, the guys in the area can get good use out of it. And we'll be doing more videos on packet radio. But right now I got to get packed up, get everything ready to head back to the homestead. It's time to get back to work. Thanks for watching, guys.